Hello and welcome to Gearock Farms. It is the day after baling little square bales here on the dairy farm. My dad and my brothers have been hard at work for the past couple days. They got a lot of hay made in a shorter amount of time. And today he is taking advantage of having some open ground to spread manure on. And he's cleaning up our heifer barns here and our dry cow barn. So then we can go spread that manure right away on the hay fields we just harvested. beautiful hay making weather here but it hasn't been great hay growing weather it's been really dry lately and we can talk a little more about that later in the video they unloaded most of the hay last night so i missed out on that they got one more load of hay to unload i'm not sure if we want to unload that today yet or if he's got to move some more bedding around but i'm gonna help finish up this barn get the cattle put away and now that they got some new fresh bedding I was waiting for the skip steer to bring us some more bedding. Threw these guys out some new hay, fresh off the field. With summer here and the heat on any type of livestock operation, it's crucial to keep them clean. Really keeps the insects and pests down, especially like flies. Dad, he was just talking about that. Keep everything as clean as possible. Okay, now we're gonna clean out the small side, but we gotta move some hay here. So you're gonna try to push it with the skids to your right, that's the plan? Well, yesterday I overlooked it. I didn't, we thought, oh, we're gonna finish unloading this load because we filled that up. And then this morning I come here and thinking, oh, shucks, we gotta clean this pen out, now it's in the way. But I think if we push it, it, it should go. Yeah, if nothing, it'll get out of the way. It might make a mess, but. did move it quite a ways, except to move some hay. It worked halfway. I think we'll just take from here and carry it back there. There we go, it's out of the way enough. Now we can get our gate open and clean out the town. Well, we should broom everything. I'm just trying to think about what to do with these. I wonder if we should just shut that wheel gate and let these guys run back in here. It's not a Maybe bad idea. They're small enough too, they're not gonna make a mess. Come on, little guy. Come on. Yeah, we got all these little blue, the little blue pieces that you know, laying in the hay all over the place. Last year, twine was red. Nice thing about a different color twine every year is then you know the, you know, the age of the hay. You know, you, you, you don't even have to remember that. 
we still got just a small bin of hay with the sisal twine. We haven't been using sisal twine for 10 years. It's almost like a label. Yeah, it can be. But see, when the baler makes a knot, it'll cut off these little tails. And I noticed that the red twine, see if you ever had to pull out like a sparrow's nest or something, it's full of these. They're turned on by the red. And I don't know if they go for the blue. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's almost like putting jewelry in your nest. Wow. Yeah, they That's got the better nest. He's gonna go grab some bedding right away. Right, the pens are cleaned and all freshened up in both the heifer and the calf barn and looking in the distance we might be getting what we're praying for the clouds are looking pretty dark looks like they might be getting a little rain over there next year we were going to pull that last wagon of hay into the bull barn and unload that and i think that we might have to just leave that load of hay sit outside as we're moving it here for a while just to ensure that we're going to get some rain isn't that how it works you just leave some hay sit outside and then it's guaranteed the rain or have some hay cut it's guaranteed to rain but hopefully we get some some rain we need it this whole area all of western wisconsin needs it so fingers crossed here and it, it looks like we're gonna get it looking in the distance there you can kind of feel it in the air too it's it's getting real cool so we're gonna pull out the the super mta and this full load of hay the old baler came in handy. It's good dad kept that around. He was able to finish off the rest of the hay they needed to bale. Look at that, all our heifers are hanging out, wondering why the heck they can't get back in. We're keeping them out of here until we get this hay in here. And it also looks like the dairy cows decided to come home for water, at least part of the herd did, which is cool to see. This pen also got cleaned up. Dad, he took off with that last load of manure. He's gonna go spread that quick, get that done in case we do get some rain. Sky is looking really black. Hopefully it uh, lets something go. All right, let's start to unload some of this hay. You know, we have no wind. No rain. 
I don't know how well the camera picks it up, but while we we're unloading here, you can see the wind pushing something big in. Dust flying everywhere. Almost looks like, like a misty rain with all the dust. River, can you tell something's coming? talk about yesterday how many bales you made in that video <clears throat> I didn't really check what the count I didn't mark what I had in the days before but we had to have a thousand it was real close if we didn't that was a good day I mean you make that much hay you're gonna have a mishap yeah. I mean it's a given you know something's gonna click eventually but we yeah. actually started pretty early we were bailing already before dinner and I even unloading this. I think it was one or two days. Probably some huge bunch someplace. Oh, that was, yeah. Yeah, like, and that'll oh, It's cure. pretty dry, though. <laughs> this is dust. Mm -hmm. When we were in there, you were talking about the quality of hay this year and how different it is from years prior. So, I think it's just simply because we had we had all our snow soaked in. And we had a second snow there in the middle of April. All that soaked in. We only had one really heavy runoff rain right after we did the new seeding, of course. You know, we got to have that. And then, and then we had another nice soaker. I mean, we were soaked up about, maxed up about May 1st. So we, we had our subsoil. And then that's it. No yeah, wind. And dry and no, you know, just vir virtually no weather. Just calm, dry days. Yeah, the crop hasn't lodged or anything. Nothing, so. nothing. So even like the dandelion, you know, that, that, that seed that comes out, that, that still was hanging on there. I noticed on all the equipment you get this film of like a yellow... Uh, dust it's it's the pollen typically rain and wind will remove all that so I mean it was and that's and that's the other thing then the hay is so clean so it didn't lay down there's no moisture underneath to get it to start to rot and get a little, little junky so this stuff I mean and then even the stuff we chopped we chopped it a little earlier than you'd like but I think we got it with a pretty high protein content and it dried a little quicker even than what we would like but it I guess the pile nice I was more concerned about when you go early like that, you kind of lose your yield a little bit, you know, but then the weather's nice and it would have been nice to have a half inch of rain on it. You know, maybe it would have waited another four days or something, but quality is definitely about it's as there. good as we've ever made a first crop. So you gotta go when it's nice and that was all right. I mean, I'm not saying we shouldn't have, but even for bailing then it was still a little young yet, you know, right around the first of June and now we're, we're getting closer to about the 10th. Now it's optimum, I think, far as uh, maturity. And your grasses and to, all that. To yeah. bale it. And with the dryness, we're not gonna get any kind of more growth out of what already is there. You're typically your clovers and some of that finer stuff down in thickens up more. Even though our orchard grass is up to here. It's literally up to here in places, so the yields are there. But then when it's so dry, that goes through the baler and just crunches right to you know, they're going to eat every speck. So yeah. that's the plus of it. The, every, everything we did get is, as long as we uh, keep it preserved here, we can get our punch. Yeah, so hopefully things work out. Hopefully we get some shots of rain now that most of the crops are off. And 
But all in all, we got at least some quality hay off the first crop. We have one cutting left, probably another thousand. Yep. It's kind of more hilly too, but um, sounds like next week, even once this rain goes through, it's gonna be good all the way through. <laughs> Not too concerned about getting it in like we usually are. So. Yep. But we uh, got all the hay unloaded here and now we're gonna pull the MTA out and around through the barnyard and then sweep off our chaff right by the main here. Girls, watch out! Come on! Hey, come on, girls! Come on! Yep, yep. complaining from the cattle than when we started everybody's back in their pens mowing down on some nice fresh hay some good quality hay it's a good feeling to have that done and out of the way super grateful and happy i was able to get done with work a little early today side dressing has been picking up here but still managed to get out of there at a good time and and uh found some projects to help dad with out here today so now i'm gonna feed the silage here in the dairy barn so then there's uh, less to worry about later in the day And we are finished feeding up here in the dairy barn. All they have to do now before they let the cows in is lay out some grain. My dad and my brother, they went to our local town festival to get some food and do some socializing. So I thought I'd uh, get some of the chores out of the way for them. So then they don't have to worry about rushing back. Give them guys a little bit of a break. I'm happy that I was able to come here and help get some odds and ends done here. The day after baling hay, I'm sad that I missed out on it, but I'm happy to hear that a majority of it went well, other than that little bit of a baler mishap. So we are gonna end off the video here. Thank you all for sticking to the end. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I think River, right River? River, you want these guys to like and subscribe, correct? She had to, had to hang out outside on a super hot day. It's been a while since you've been to the farm with me. If not for me, hit the thumbs up button for River on this hot day. Also, you can check us out on all our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that, if you wanna see more of us. And if you ever wanted to send us mail, we do have a PO box and we have all that information for the PO box down below in the description. Also, we hope that all of you are getting the weather that you need in your area. And we hope that you all are having a fun yet productive summer. We wish you all the best and uh, we'll see you next time.